Hi Capricorn, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot, and I have another reading here for you today. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn for February of 2020. But keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay. This is a general reading. I'm going to get messages for those who need to hear it the most at this time. And also, this video is timeless. So even though it's for February of 2020, as it's currently dated, it will resonate with you when you feel drawn to watch the video. All right, Capricorn, let's get right into your reading. So I'm going to use the Rider Weight deck here to get the overall situation of what you can expect in February. So let's get going. Okay. So Capricorn, I get the feeling that you are really struggling in a connection. Now, with all this wand and cup energy, it very well could be a romantic connection. It doesn't have to be, but you're struggling in the situation. I think you're wanting to extend your cup but nothing passionate is happening. You're wanting there to be a new emotional start, but nothing is happening. And you're starting to feel a little battle, battle bruised, a little weary. You know, you're kind of getting to the end of your rope here, you know, in, in your efforts. And you feel like no opportunities are coming your way. You feel like you're gaining no momentum. Get some more cards here. Ace of Wands, you really want a passionate beginning with this person, but you're just getting a lot of conflict instead. Not the passion you're wanting, Capricorn. You know, with this Justice and this Two of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords, you're really wanting the opportunity to set the record straight. You really don't want to be stuck in your mind about this. You don't want the truth to be stuck within you. You want to be able to express it to this person, but you don't feel like this person is allowing you to extend your truth or your stability. And, oh. So Capricorn, this may be... Someone you were in, <laughs> some of you are not going to like to hear this. Um, for some of you, this may be someone that you had heartbreak with in the past. Now, you could have been the one who hurt this person and they could have hurt you. But either way, you know, with this, I, I kind of feel it was possibly a third party situation. So maybe one party stepped out on the other or at least another person was involved in the situation. But where you are wanting to to remedy this, to make up for it, or or if the other party's the one that hurt you, they're wanting to make up for it if the roles are reversed. Um, the other party is wanting to, to completely move on from this, okay? So if you're the one trying to make up for a situation or a wrongdoing that you felt like you did, um, the other person, they're trying to just move on from it. They don't really want to hear the explanations anymore. They really don't want to give this a chance anymore, yeah. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They're not wanting to work on this. In fact, I get that this could be you. You could be spending a lot of time, you know, tortured in your own mind, maybe having dreams about this. You feel like it's bad luck, a bad turn of events. You feel very single. You feel like you're not being allowed to work on this at all. And you feel like you can't extend your love and that you feel a little bit trapped in the situation. And you, you want there to be communication from the other person. You really want them to respond and open up the door, but they're just not doing so. You know, and you you're concerned that they have a lot of options where you feel like you don't really have any. You you want to rush in with an offer. So I'm pretty much getting the same message over and over here, Capricorn. Um, whether it's you or the other person, 
it's it's one person is wanting to rush in and make something happen and the other person's just firmly keeping the door closed that's what i'm getting if this is a romantic situation if this has to do with a career or promotion it follows the same lines you know you're working very very hard to it and someone just is keeping the door blocked keeping you from moving forward keeping you from you know, stating your your job experience, stating why you should have this position or why you should get this opportunity. You feel like you're not being given the opportunity to express why you should get a chance here. All right, so I think I'm gonna pull another deck here. Uh, let's do the Moonology deck. All right, Capricorn here, oh, oh my goodness. We definitely had some quick answers there. So we have conclusions are within reach, the full moon in, moon eclipse, and then meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Okay, I'm going to get some more cards from the Moonology deck here. Obviously, this is talking about, you know, I, I think, and this might be hard for some of you to hear, for some of you, this is just isn't going to happen. Okay, this door is permanently closed. Yeah, yeah. The nothing will come of the situation. Void, of course, moon. And you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So there's a lot of watery energy there. So this is, this is hard. This is hurtful. You know, being a Capricorn, this doesn't have to be a romantic situation. You could feel this emotionally attached to your career. You know, Capricorns tend to be very business oriented, very focused on their career, focused on their their goals. You know, when it comes to their stability, there is no one like a Capricorn when it comes to going towards what they want. Capricorns have this uncanny ability to reach the highest mountains. And what other people told them they couldn't do, they can do. They they have the ability to withstand the challenges, to jump over the hurdles, to keep trudging, you know, up the landscape. They, they really, Capricorns have an amazing capacity to, to achieve their goals. Um, and I think this is very difficult for you because what it's saying is you're just simply not getting the opportunity to, to really state your case. You're not getting the opportunity to have another chance here. And I think the reason that this door is closed to you is because you are supposed to change your course. You're supposed to take a step back and reevaluate, meditate and contemplate. Really look at what you're trying to do. Look at what your desires have been up to this point and really look at them and see if it's really something you want or if you just like the idea of it. For some of you, whether this is a relationship or a career, you like the idea of the situation. You like the idea of the workplace or the idea of the person. But I think you'll come to find that when you really look at this, it wasn't something that was truly going to make you happy anyway. And I don't think you even truly, truly wanted it. You know, you and your loved ones are safe. This is saying that it's okay to be a little vulnerable right now. It's okay to mourn this, okay? It's okay to mourn this situation, but either way, you're going to be okay. You're, you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. You're Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Okay, so... It really, you're going to get through this. You're going to pull yourself out. You're going to find a new goal. You're going to discover what you truly want. And then you're going to go off in pursuit of that in the Capricorn way. All right, I want to pull one more deck here. I think I want to do the Spirit of the Animal Oracle deck. This is one of my favorite decks. I love the messaging. Get some words of advice, some empowering messages all right so i have orca whale adventure dare to do things differently sing your wild song manifest your travel dreams attempt the great journey with confidence be loyal friends and family are your treasures be brave you are more powerful than you know 
and then Hawk Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Yeah. Yeah, by focusing on this situation that you don't truly want. You don't truly want this. You know, you're actually holding yourself back. You're keeping yourself from soaring to your full potential. So this is definitely about taking a chance, breaking the cycle, you know, not doing what you did in the past and making new steps in the correct direction. All right, let's get, oh, okay. We had a bunch of cards fall out. Let's see here. Okay, so we have Coyote, Revealer of Truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Unicorn, Infinite Possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. And then Lizard, Regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. That's just, that is incredible, incredible energy there, Capricorn. It's basically saying, once again, you're going to get through this. It's going to be painful. It's going to be difficult to let this go because this is something that you've been trying to achieve for a long time, for quite a while. You've put energy into this. Quite a while you've put your your blood, sweat, and tears and, and emotions into this. And this is telling you that you're going to get through this and you're going to be just as strong as you were before. You're going to pick yourself up and you have the ability to achieve whatever heights you want. So dream big. Aim high. Because you can absolutely, absolutely, you know, make it. And along the way, take some time to play. Take some time to enjoy the scenery. Don't be completely focused on the outcome outcome here. For a lot of you, if this is career, you know, have some have some pit stops along the way. Have some fun. If this is about a relationship, honestly, you don't have to be going for your end all be all relationship every time you go out into the fields okay it is okay to date it is okay to have some ga casual flirting it is okay to have some fun and enjoyment with another person without it ending up in marriage or commitment or a stable partnership it's okay to enjoy those moments as long as everyone's communicating in a healthy and positive way okay all right, Capricorn, I hope that helped. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonated with you. I love you so much. I know you will have a wonderful February, okay? I know you'll get through this. Bye, guys.